Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of Toy Fair 2015, your official coverage with the Toy Industry Association. I'm Michael Artsis. We're here on Be Terrific at the Jacob K. Javits Center, bringing you amazing live coverage. It just so much stuff here. I don't know how we could find all of it, get it all in one roof. Oh, right, that's Toy Fair. That's what they do. It's unbelievable. Our next guest is from Lehigh University. She just graduated. You may know her from her D1 track and field competitions. She is an athlete and a scholar, and an amazing athlete at that. D1 track and field star, Lisa Glover, no relation to Danny, um, is here, and she's got Kit Rex to talk about. This is a project you made under the Lehigh thumb with their tutelage and help in their program about entrepreneurs, toys, and creativity, and I believe that this is what they do for people who want to make things. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes, yes, it's the uh, Technical Entrepreneurship Master's Program, which is under the Baker Institute at Lehigh University, and it's and a one. And you baked me a T-Rex. I did not bake you a T-Rex, well, it's I'm actually having a, a velociraptor. Fun with you. I'm, I'm being facetious <laughs> here. Or as Al Michaels no, would say. No, it's a velociraptor, not a T-Rex. Farcical. That's oh, this isn't a T-Rex, no, it's a velociraptor. No, it's a velociraptor. That's why. <laughs> okay. But most people think it's a T-Rex when they first see it. It looked like a T-Rex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, everybody's excited. Digital Phil's excited for Lisa Glover. Uh, mm -hmm. and the, and the uh, Velociraptor. I like Velociraptors. That's the one in Jurassic Park. Well, that was original, actually right? a Utah Raptor, but they called it a Velociraptor. Wow, I'm learning a lot about dinosaurs. Giacomo, you watching? Because you got to know this stuff. You're a dinosaur fan, and that was a Utah Raptor, not a Velociraptor. The people on Reddit made sure I knew that. Okay, I'm sure mm -hmm. that they did. Because I thought it was a Velociraptor, too. So. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what they tell, always told us. Oh, yeah. Yep, Didn't they, they tell lied. us that in the movie? Yes, they Get lied to right, us. Get it right, Spielberg. All right. Just kidding, I love Spielberg. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, the Velociraptor. It uh, looks a little different. It doesn't have that you know, thing on the head. My mm -hmm. son Jack will appreciate this. So this is actually not just a drawing. This is something you built. It's, yes. it's almost like origami. And, mm -hmm. and hold on, give me that postcard you have laying around. This one's, how big is this, this so Velociraptor? That one turns into a three foot long Velociraptor. Okay, three foot long. And they, they all are different age uh, uh, sizes. This one is 15 feet. Look at that thing. Here you go. Right in front of my face. It's actually and a costume. And you were in that. That became yeah. a costume. Yes. This, this is what gave you the inspiration for the whole thing? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, how do you, I mean, th what, uh, this, this is cardboard or wood? That's cardboard. Cardboard. That's corrugated cardboard. Oh, my. I, I could never do that. Mm -hmm. I would be afraid that I'd break it. Mm -hmm. And then you wore it as a costume. Yep. And, at a and, Halloween party. And you built this. Yep. All right. So then what happens? You're like at the Halloween party and you're like, hey, people really like this. I'll make other people costumes. That that was well. Those little ones are not costumes. I, they're I know, just I'm they're kits. Like, but yeah. yeah, I it was basically people people harassed me into making it a thing. They were like, Lisa, this is so cool, and, and I was like, I made this as a homework assignment slash Halloween costume. I wasn't expecting it to go anywhere. I just did it really for fun. Yes, uh, and 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 so then you got harassed into making this. Well, and you had to come up with a project. Is that correct? Yeah, that was c sort of the point of the of the TE program that I was in. We had to we had to come up with a product and a business and try to get it out there. She so. said, "Hey, you know, I don't know. Everybody loves this, so let's make it a product." So exactly. now, it's it, what's the smallest one you make? So that's the smallest one. It's three feet long. Okay, and how long mm -hmm. would could I actually make? I can't make anything. Could I make this? You could. Yeah. How long does it take? It. Probably you about four hours. Four hours? I don't have that kind of time. Well, I guess if you if you it's it's kind of addicting. You start really? yeah as soon as you start folding the pieces together and start seeing success with making so one component and the next. This is the smallest. How yes. big does it get? The biggest is the fifteen foot long one. Fifteen foot long one. Mm -hmm. And and you sell that. I don't sell the big one yet. But it's coming. But yeah, that's part of my long term plan with my business. What's the biggest you sell right now? The just that one. Oh, that's so it. So I okay. only have two sizes right now. But How long would it take? <laughs> uh, this is four hours and it's three feet. F five times three. Wait, no, no. Five times, yeah, three is 15. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so five. Okay, so this is three feet. And then five, 15 feet. I need five times three. I'm all confused. F it's basically five times four is going to be 20. You need mm -hmm. 20 hours to put this together? I mean, I can do it in 10, but probably other people would need 20 or, or more hours. Yeah. Well, sorry, I didn't have my abacus on set. It's a <laughs> little hard for me to do the math here. I did not go to Lehigh, obviously. All right, so uh, four hours here. You need glue? What do I need? That one, actually, the glue dots are included, so you don't need any glue. I Everything love that. you need Thank is included you. in the Everything's kit. Everything's included. Yep. And it could keep my son, Jack, occupied for four hours. Yep. Yes. And can I I'm have a couple of these? 
Sure. How, what, is there Take an age look. range on these? I, I mostly recommend them for 9 to 12 year olds, okay. but I've had 3 year olds with, their, with the help of their dad build them. Um, I've had 20 year olds who have some trouble with them, but. Yeah, so we got to get the kids on the track to Lehigh for these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, <laughs> and, and so are there other, this is uh, all Velociraptor. Do we have T-Rexes? Right. No, not yet, but I'm launching a campaign later this month for a pterodactyl Oh, a version. pterodactyl. It, th this is a kit so. rex, uh, and it's a pterodactyl, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Pterodactyl. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What, what am I talking about? I'm losing my mind. It's why it, it, The P is silent is what it is. This is right. a pterodactyl. I thought this was a type of pterodactyl called a pterodactyl. You know, I don't remember all these things from elementary school, but mm -hmm. i got to learn because okay. of Jack. See he that. loves dinosaurs. Jack, what noise does a dinosaur make? Can we hear you, Jack? I know he's watching. Mm -hmm. ah, that's what he does. <laughs> Well, okay. in the in the kit, there's in the instruction booklet, you can learn about dinosaurs. There, there's a couple pages right. on on Shh. dino facts. Here's look. Here is the we got to get a shot of that. That's coming soon. How mm -hmm. much are these? These are twenty five dollars. Give me all the colors. Twenty five dollars each. Four hours of fun, artwork, and fun project. How you doing mm -hmm. with it? I'm I'm doing pretty well. I'm okay. working at getting it out into stores right now. I mostly have it for sale on my website, mm -hmm. but. Uh, but I, again, I, even though we learned a tremendous amount in the technical entrepreneurship program, um, scaling up is, is definitely something that I wasn't, I wasn't quite as prepared to do. Yeah. It, it threw you off a little. They told you and you said, oh, yeah, yeah, that's no problem. And mm -hmm. then you were like, yeah, we got to make 10,000 of these. And they were like, e not today. Yeah, yeah. D get, dis distribution is definitely where, where I'm struggling. But have have you a learned a lot at Toy Fair? Have you gotten a lot of good... Oh, uh, my uh, gosh. Have I ever. It has been an amazing educational experience. I'm learning, I'm learning so much. Taters um, wants me to juggle these. He's watching and he <laughs> wants me to juggle them. I'm going to try it. Why not? <laughs> I can juggle a little bit. Let's see. Uh, and uh, but uh, but digital Phil wanted me to show these, so I'm showing uh -huh. them all first, and then I'm going to try and juggle juggle them. But uh, this is mm -hmm. a great education toy fair, right? And oh have yeah. you met a lot of good people? Oh oh definitely. And, and do you have people who want to like uh, put them in the toy store and stuff like that? I've met a couple like that. I've I've mostly yeah. been trying to learn from people who are at different stages yeah. of building their company. Um, that's been my main objective. But I have a couple people who are interested. A couple sales people. Very nice. I'm going to try and juggle. Do you mind? Go ahead. <laughs> they want it. They ask for it. We're going to try and make this happen. I'm trying to figure out if I would juggle it like this or if I got to flip them. Let's see. Here we go. Juggling them. Here we go. No, you can't <laughs> do it like that. It's got to be like, no, this isn't going to work. Okay, not happening. Uh, sorry, we tried. A lot of fun here on Be Terrific. We like to have fun. We like to please the audience. Nobody's going to get hurt, though. So, rawr. Look, it, it says it right there, Jack. Look at that, Jack. What noise does a dinosaur make? It's right there. Oh, this is great packaging. This is a cool idea. I like it a lot. All right, and it's great to do with your kids. Um, can people go to the site, Kit Rex? Yeah, it's kit-rex.com. Okay, kit-rex.com. Kit-rex.com. Mm -hmm. I love it. And, and, and so talk about being an entrepreneur. What's that process been like as far as going through this? Is it hard? Is it easy? Do you, do you, have you had to raise money? Tell me about that. It's, it's been a fantastic journey. I sort of stumbled into entrepreneurship. I don't think I even knew what an entrepreneur was about three months before joining this yeah. grad program. And um, I love getting to work for myself. It's de there's definitely a lot of uncertainty, but I wouldn't want to have it any other way. What made you want to do this? Um, well, I... I mean entrepreneurism. Mean entre entrepreneurship? Yeah. Um, I, well... I didn't want to go on to architectural grad school when I finished so my... So you, you were interested in architecture, which, yes. I mean, says a lot. I mean, this is kind of origami and architecture and, and model making all together. Mm -hmm. And and so you, you, you wanted to be an architect your whole life. Right. Like, you were a little kid, you were like, I got to be an architect. Right. Well, I wanted to do something creative, but I wanted it to be useful. Yeah. And I saw architecture as the perfect way of doing that. So you liked exploring, like, old houses and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not me. Um, <laughs> okay. So then you uh, you're, you're think you're going to be an architect, and you mm -hmm. go on the architect track. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, George Costanza always wanted to be an architect, too. There's is my Seinfeld reference for the whole show. I worked it in. I've been trying to do it all the time. <laughs> Save mm -hmm. Andalay Industries. Save Andalay Industries. All right, no, you're not a Seinfeld no. fan. You don't know who Tom Brokaw is, and I'm you're not sorry. a Seinfeld fan. You're making me feel really old here. Sorry. That's because, how old are you, 22? 24. 24, yeah. All right. Um, Digital Phil wants a dinosaur. Awesome. Yeah. Well. Okay, so you mm -hmm. wanted to be an architect, and then how do you go to entrepreneurism? Well, uh, I stumbled into this grad program. Yeah. I, I literally, I was, I was picking up a painting of a drawing that I had done, and it happened to be stored in the classroom where this 
technical entrepreneurship class was happening and I was like, and I saw the desks and they, everyone had these cool products that they were working on on the desks and I thought, this looks awesome. I don't know what this is, but this looks cool and I want to be a part of it. Much so. more, much cooler than building buildings, I guess, huh? No, not, I mean, building buildings would be awesome, but in order to get there, I would have had to be a, a CAD monkey for like 10 years, yeah. and I really, I, I want to do something now. Immediate, yes. Yeah. I, but I love what you're doing, I think it's great. I love entrepreneurism. Uh, it, it's in your blood, I think. Even if you don't mm -hmm. know it, once you start, it, it has to be something in your blood or, it, or you don't cut it. Um, I think that's great. You have any records running track? Any any medals? Anything? Um, I I won a steeplechase race, but no no special uh, medals. What, what was your event? Uh, ste uh, the fi well 5K or no sorry that's high school. Well in track it was the steeplechase. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. This is not easy. Did you ever do the hurdles? Did you ever try that? I can't hurdle. I not standard hurdles. Okay, in all seriousness, the pride of Lehigh University right here. Lisa Glover is here with. Kit Rex, it's awesome, and I want to tell you something else about this. I love that, unlike most schools, Lehigh University gives you the facilities to do it, the professors, they teach you, but they don't take a piece of the, of the company. And I mm -hmm. love that because a lot of uh, schools own your IP, even though you pay to go there. Um, so I got to give a lot of kudos to Lehigh. Thank you for coming in. I want everybody to go to kit-rex.com. It is kit-rex.com. I'm Michael Artsis. That's Lisa Glover. This is your official live continuing coverage of Toy Fair 2015 with the Toy Industry Association from the Jacob K. Javits Center in New York City only on beterrific.com and be terrific. Check us out. Check everything out. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this.